For my dissertation research, I'm looking at footprints in the human fossil record and what they can tell us about the anatomy and gait of our ancestors. So in order to study footprints in the fossil record, we need to first understand the process of how footprints are formed. And so we've been doing experiments with habitually unshot people here in northern Kenya, asking them to make footprints in a controlled way so that we can look at how the motions of their foot and the rest of their body, as well as their anatomy, are recorded in the footprints that they make. With footprints, you have the opportunity to find uh, trackways of several consecutive steps in a row. And you can also find footprints of several individuals moving together. And those footprints give you a picture, just the snapshot of the complete foot anatomy of whoever made them. So if you're finding fossil bones, you'll find maybe one or two and they'll be fragmentary. Uh, but footprints are a way to get an idea of what the complete foot anatomy of our ancestors looked like. So right now we're at a site called Kubifora in Kenya. We're in northern Kenya on the eastern shore of Lake Turkana. And Kubifora is a spit actually which protrudes into Lake Turkana and we're here right on the shore of that uh, conducting these experiments. This experiment is about understanding the time scale over which footprints could have been formed. So when we go back and we're looking at footprints in the human fossil record, we want to know over what time could those footprints have formed and then been preserved. So here we're creating our own footprints and looking at how long they last on a modern lakeshore. We've been measuring the maximum depth of every footprint over time to see how it erodes and the depths change and also taking photos and doing um, a lot of photos to give us a three-dimensional model of every print so we can actually track the changes in shape from day one to two to three to four and see how, uh, how, how gradually it changes and how much it changes. But then there will be, there'll be points where we have radical change like animal steps in a print and it obliterates it or the water comes in and it's, it's enough, there's enough movement to, to cause it to sort of melt away. I think our experiment is, is designed here to test basically the question, what is the life of a footprint? There are fossil footprints known from about 3.6 million years ago, um, as well as the ones we have here in Illoret, which are about 1.5 million years old. And there are several more recent fossil footprint sites. Yeah, so in our experiments here at the lakeshore, we were looking at the taphonomy of footprints, or in other words, how they actually are preserved in the fossil record. Um, we're also looking at how the overall shapes of footprints change over time. So if we look at the shapes of those footprints and the number of animals represented in them, we might be able to say something about whether a footprint surface represents only a few hours, only a few days, or a longer period of time, like several weeks or months. So what we're learning is this is a really, uh, that the footprint sites are on the short end of the range of time, which is really interesting for us because it means that these fossil footprint sites likely represent a short period of time and individuals would know each other, and they're all part of the same group. And that gives us a really interesting glimpse into the, the behavior of our early ancestors.